Hi, I would like to share with you the scripture is from the Gospel of Mark, um, um, chapter 4, starting with um, verse 35. And the same day when the evening was come, he, Jesus, says to, unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when he had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awake him, and they say unto him, Master, care you not that we perish? And he arose, and he rebuked the wind, and he said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto him, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Um... And they feared exceedingly, and they said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Now, um, those scriptures right there are talk, talking about um, something that does happen like um, like in three of the four Gospels, that um, the that Jesus um, and his disciples went to, went to a boat to pass over on the other side of the sea, and there arose the... Um, a great storm wind that was like a rocking boat and was like covering waves and Jesus is like Jesus is like um asleep on a pillow <laughs> and he's just uh and and he's like and the disciples are like waking up and he's like Master don't you care that we're perishing <laughs> and um Jesus just woke up and he just uh, said to said to the um, sea and the wind, peace, be still. And, um, <laughs> and, and everything went calm again, and you just like, um, why are you so fearful? How is it that you don't have any faith? And he just went back to bed. It's <laughs> 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 her, it's her, like, um, par parents who, like, get, get up in the middle of life to, like, um, uh, deal with the, um, do, the old monster under your bed. <laughs> it's like, um, child needs, like, security, and, uh, that there's, that there's no, nothing in a room that's going to, going to get them. I mean, sometimes, sometimes we're, like, like the little children, because, uh, we're, we're, we're dealing with things that are, that are basically beyond our control, um, and, um, we, we need to um, have have the assurance that uh, of God being on our on our side, and and some sometimes He calms the storm, and sometimes He calms our hearts because we, if, our, if our hearts are not are are always anxious, um, we're going we're going to be um, <laughs> we're, we're going to be um, overcome with lots of fears and we'll end up not having faith that God is able to ha handle th things that are beyond the control. That brings me to um, Psalm 3. And so we'll go, go go to the Psalms and this is um, this is a Psalm of David when he was on a run f from Absalom. Um, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which save my soul. There is no help for him in God. Selah. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Selah. I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O, God, o my God. For you have smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone, you have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs unto the Lord, your blessing is upon your people. Selah. And that, um, that psalm right there um, is um, David talking about the Lord being, being um, being the, um, being the shield for for David and and to lift her up his of his head because uh, David was in trouble. He was um, 
he was on he was on a run from um, from Absalom who t took over um, kingdom he he was um, planning sedition again against his own fa father and um, and the um, rebellion increased until until I was like like his advisors were basically calling for David to um, flee, flee for safety and he took took um, a bunch of his loyal people with him and just, uh, they they f they fled into mountains and just uh, ended up leaving like ten, ten concubines behind and then just uh, and, and David had had one one of his friends go go back and pledge um, loyalty unto um, unto, unto Absalom, just, uh, so so that he he could have a uh, mole in the uh, in in um, Absalom's um, cabinet, and just uh, so he could find find out everything that Absalom Absalom's planning. I mean, the thing, the thing I'm trying, I'm trying to say is that Lord, Lord has our back. He's, um, he's our, here's our shield before us, and he, he's also our rear guard. And uh, we, we need to, we need to know that Lord, Lord, Lord's got, Lord's got our butts. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's not gonna, he's not gonna let. Um, let us per perish um, if we're if we're um, if we're faithful and humble unto unto him. And if we're I mean if we're being in all things unto him. I mean, he he'll not he'll not suffer the righteous to be moved. I mean, and um, if we're if we if we um fa face things that are above and beyond our um. Are, are controlled to deal with we can all we can always come to him in prayer I mean it's like um think, thinking about um what Paul the Apostle said um in Philippians um four, four six and seven be careful for nothing that means be anxious for nothing but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made uh, known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I mean, I mean God, God, God wants, wants His peace to rule in our hearts. And, uh, um, That um, we 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 not we will not fear um, th things in this world that um, I mean that are coming against us and, uh, and like um, but he I think of, I think of what the writer of Hebrews um, said um. Hebrews um, thirteen five six. Let your conversation and your conduct be without covetousness, and be content with such things as you have. For he, he, the Lord, has said, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." So that we may boldly say, "The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me." Because I mean, God, God's got our, God's got our butts in our back. He's, he's, he'll, he'll calm, he'll calm us through, through the storm that, that we're going through, whether it be a physical storm or any, anything is, um, anything is upsetting our, us, um, internally, right up here. Anyway, that's pretty much, uh, all I have to sh share with you in this, uh, video, so, have a good day. And may God bless you.